I get questions nearly daily from people asking me about how to solve or fix specific problems they might have with the Xiaomi AirDots or the Redmi AirDots, and today we're just gonna go over the answers to all of those. Hey, my name is Mitchell. Before we get into this, I wanna thank everyone that uses my affiliate links. Without your support, I couldn't keep this channel going. Also, I've been really, really active on Twitter talking about the Redmi K20 Pro and other just kind of tech stuff. So go ahead, check that out. If you like mobile photography, you have a Xiaomi phone, go ahead, check out Xiaomi Photography. It's my Instagram page where I post your user-generated content. Okay, you guys know the drill. You wanna read some interesting stuff? Go hit my website, I update all the time. You wanna chat? Hit the Telegram group, and let's just do this. So the first problem that people are constantly asking me uh, is I am putting them in the case and they don't light up, or they put them in the case and they stay connected to the device. And this can happen for one of a couple of reasons. The first is that the battery inside the case is dead and you need to charge it. You can test this by plugging in the case into a power source and seeing if the headphones light up. If the headphones light up when the case is taking power from a micro USB charging source, you know that your uh, case had a dead battery. If this does not work and your headphones are still lighting up, it could be potentially uh, dirty connections. So the way you would fix that is you either use some rubbing alcohol, a damp rag, and clean the connections both on the headphone and the case. If after you clean the case and the headphones, it doesn't work, you have a broken case. If you have a broken case, you have two options. One, buy another pair of headphones to reuse that case, or try to hunt down an extra case online. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find people selling cases. And even when you do find the case for, let's say, the Xiaomi AirDots, the case is normally $20 with $2 or $3 shipping and a new pair is $30, $35. So it's not worth it. Second problem, my headphones don't connect or connection issues. And this can come down to kind of one or two things. Uh, one, they became unpaired. And if you're having issues with the headphones pairing to each other, go ahead and check out my other video linked right up here. And it shows you how to solve that. The second issue is that the dominant headphone, which is the right one, is not being charged or one of the headphones isn't charging. So if you take them out of the case and they are not connecting to your phone, make sure they're lighting up in the first place. If they're not lighting up, they're dead. If the right one isn't lighting up, the left one won't be as the right one is the master to the left one and the right one is the headphone that connects to the device first. If the headphones are not connecting or they are not lighting up, rewind this video and try the solution I had prior. The second question I have is the headphones connect and then they immediately lose connection either with each other or the case. And this can happen if the headphones themselves have a low battery. So many times before the actual case breaks and you have some of these issues, what you will have is you will have headphones that have a very low amount of charge. So they will connect to your cell phone, but then immediately they die. So it gives you a weird kind of pulsating effect in that they connect and then they disconnect or they connect. And so the headphones are not charged. So if that's happening, you either have a broken case or the case is not charged. Uh, a lot of the issues around these headphones go back directly to the case because the case is a piece of shit and it's made really, really poorly and it often breaks on people. Uh, there's tons of people in my Telegram group as well as people online that are, have had broken Redmi AirDots, whether it be a broken hinge for the case, broken PCB board, tons of other issues. The quality of these is really, really low. Whereas I'm not having the same kind of feedback for any of my QCY headphones that I've recommended people. So if you are looking to pick up a better pair of true wireless headphones, go ahead and check out my videos linked up here. Another issue that people are commonly commenting on is that the headphones are often dropping out and losing connection between each other. And this can happen for a variety of reasons, including electrical interference or interference with radio signals in the area. More often than not, if you try repairing them together, you, this might fix some of the problems or it can make them worse. But people are all over the board. It is normal for the headphones to drop out and lose connection sometimes, but if it's a continuous problem, you might have a defective pair. Okay, if you guys wanna see more videos about headphones I like, check this video or this video. If you guys wanna subscribe, hit this. And until next time, it's been Mitchell coming to you from Hanoi. See you soon.